Goodwill Community Foundation, creating opportunities for a better life. Everyone has their own way of preparing for a presentation. What do you plan to say? How long will your presentation last? The first thing I do when I'm ready to rehearse is go to the slideshow tab. Not to run a slideshow, but to work on my timing using the rehearse timings command. This mode lets you practice your presentation while recording the amount of time it takes to deliver each slide. See the toolbar at the top? These timings can be used to run your presentation automatically in the future, so you can focus on your talking points instead of advancing the slides. While in rehearsal mode, just click the Next button to move to the next slide, or the right arrow on your keyboard. If you need more than one try to get a timing right, you can take a break using the Pause button, and then resume recording when you're ready. To re-record the timing on the current slide, just click Repeat and it will reset the clock. Let's skip ahead to the end of the slideshow. I'm going to use the Escape key to return to PowerPoint. I'm satisfied with the timings from this rehearsal, so I'm going to go ahead and click Yes to keep them. Here they are, under each slide in the Slide Sorter view. Now when I give my presentation, I can let this run in the background without having to advance the slides myself. That gives me an idea. Why don't we start over and this time make a copy of the presentation that people can view on their own with slide timings and narration? It's possible with the Record Slideshow feature. All you need is a microphone for your computer. If you open the menu here, you can record from your current slide or from the beginning if you're just getting started. Check what you want to include. For me, timings and narration because I do have a mic. Then click Start Recording and be ready to perform your slideshow as soon as it begins. Make sure to speak clearly into the mic if you're recording narration. And as before, click Next or use the arrow key on your keyboard when you're ready to move to the next slide. Your mouse won't show up on the screen in a recorded slideshow, so if you want to point something out, You'll need to do it using something the viewer can see, the laser pointer. It's easy. Just hold control on your keyboard while you click and hold your mouse. When you're finished, press the Escape key. Now my timings and my narration are part of the presentation. And any slide with narration will be marked with this little speaker icon in the bottom right corner. If you change your mind and want to remove any timings or narration, just open the Record Slideshow menu and clear whatever you need from the current slide or from all the slides. I'm going to need to give my narration another go when I have all of my talking points planned out, but I'm not worried. With the ability to rehearse and record, I know I'll be ready to deliver my presentation, whether it's to a live audience or the viewer's personal computer.